This video is brought to you by Squarespace, the all-in-one website platform for all your needs. Whether you're an entrepreneur, content creator, or just looking to build a beautiful portfolio, Squarespace makes it easy to create a beautiful website to showcase your work, engage with your audience, and sell your products all in one place on your own terms. Dumb art advice is something that apparently every artist experiences at least once in their lifetime. <laughs> by the way, I'm sick. I asked you guys a few weeks ago what bad art advices you've ever gotten and today we can go through some of it and make fun of them. For today, I will be drawing the newest addition to my Genshin family, Gaming. He's so adorable. Just listen to him giggle. I thought it would be fun to draw him in a school uniform because recently, I'm going back to school despite being a grown-ass adult. So yeah, sorry if I don't upload videos that much for the next couple of months. I was told that I'd have to be good at traditional art first before I do digital art. Whoever told you that must be a boomer or at least the same age as me. I've seen a lot of digital artists who are really good despite never or rarely drawing on paper. I don't grow up with an iPad. Back in my day, there was no such thing as drawing apps on phones. Listen, I was there when people thought Blackberry was a great idea. I draw on paper because I pretty much have no choice and my paper drawing was nowhere near my digital drawing. You can pretty much draw everywhere with whatever media you have Sure, if you have better art supplies, it'll be quicker and easier for you to draw, but that doesn't guarantee a good artwork. Well, you can draw that on your phone, now you just have to learn how to draw that on paper to make money off of it. How? Like, how? How does that correlate? Are you suggesting that we draw a bunch of money on paper and then spend it on things, which is very illegal, by the way? Dumb. Next advice. But before we continue, quick word from sponsor. By now, I'm sure a lot of you know that Squarespace has a lot of templates. They're very beautiful. I love looking at them while battling a dilemma of which one I should use. But not to worry. In the beginning, Squarespace will give you a very short questionnaire to understand your needs better. Then they will create some template suggestions based on your answers. You can preview them first or use the template directly. You can just drag and drop your images or add buttons, links, whatever you like, and place them wherever you want. I also like to visit their print-on-demand service and see what type of merch you can create. You just need to upload your design to your selected merch and resize it. They have a lot of product options. This feature reduces the time and effort for production and shipping, and you can even track your sales and marketing funnels. Super easy, you can do it all in one platform. It's very convenient. But hold on, hold on, I'm not done yet. Head over to squarespace.com slash fungzao or use the code fungzao to get 10% off your first website or domain purchase. Squarespace.com slash fungzao, 10% off. Thank you Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Art is not an actual career. If you wanna be broke for yourself, be broke. But as my daughter, you're going to be a doctor. Some lovely parents I have, huh? Oh yes, I'm sure they're a delight at parties. I don't wanna make fun of someone's parents, but there are a lot of parents who still think that, you know, things never change. And the only reputable careers are doctors and lawyers. You will starve if you become an artist. Actually, it depends on the country. But in my beautiful home country of Indonesia, being an artist as a career is very... Uh, how do I say it? Challenging. You have to be a professional artist working in a big animation or concept art studio if you wanna get a decent pay. Or you can be a comic artist, but as far as I know, very little of them are getting decent pay. Or you can pick a different career as your main job and do the art stuff on the side. Guess which one I did. See, the beauty of not being in ancient times is that everything can be done online. Not exactly everything, but you get what I mean. There are a lot of platforms where you can make a living from your art. And if you want something stable, like a stable income, you know, get a day job as your main income and do the art thing as a side job. But I don't know about doctors though, they seem really busy. You'd have to talk to your parents, I guess. Draw every day to get better. And also carpal tunnel. What? You think drawing every day for hours doesn't have consequences? You think this world is all sunshine and rainbow like that? You have to know when to stop and take a break. Your well-being comes first, you come first, not your drawing. Don't do line art. That's just for people that are not good at drawing and want to hide it by professionality. Or this person just suck at line art. Even the sentence contradicts itself. How are people who are not quote not good at drawing and want to hide it 
according to the advisor, are supposed to make a decent line art. There are techniques and practice needed in creating line art, such as controlling your pen pressure to give more dimension to your lines. In my humble opinion, the advisor must think all line arts are done like this. Like, no dude, this is not line art, this is just unhinged. Don't add base lines to make your artwork more flowy and cohesive. I'm not sure if base line is the same as line art, but come on, what, what do people have against line art? They're treating it like it's a plague. Trust the process. For some reason, trusting the process with me doesn't um, end too well. Yeah, I think trust the process in art is equivalent to trust me bro in real life. I never like this advice either. I'm sure the advisor means well, but it's a really vague advice. It's like when you're stuck in life and people tell you, eh, just keep going, just keep going. Going where exactly? I'm stuck. From my observation, this is how people get frustrated when trusting the process. Some people might have different experience, but this is just from what I see most of the time. First, let's say they start with a sketch, and then let's say they start shading the sketch, but it doesn't look decent. And then they render and work on it over and over because they're supposed to trust the process and the result is way below their expectations and they get disappointed. You can't trust the process blindly and expect great results. And by blindly, I mean you don't know what you're doing. Sure, you might get great results anyway by happy accident, but will you be able to recreate it for the second time? Or the third time? Personally, I'm able to trust my own process because I know how to fix my drawing if things go south. This is what I start with, this raggedy and mutation nightmare. And through the process, I can turn it into somewhat a decent drawing. Because I know how my process works, that's why I can trust it. But for Oh my god, I, I, I can't make any voices. I'm too sick. Okay, but let's say you're still an art infant and you don't know your own process. That's more than fine. That's what learning is for. For you to find out what works and what doesn't work for you. I would suggest try to accept the fact that your drawing might end up bad in the process anyway, so you can let go of any expectations. Focus on the learning process. If you feel frustrated, try other methods or take a rest and come back later. Learning when to stop and coming back later is also part of the process, by the way. Trust the learning process first. Accept the fact that it's not always smooth. Once you find a method that works for you and you're able to recreate it multiple times, then you can trust your own process. The single-handedly worst piece of art advice I've been given is the 50-50-50 rule for drawing hats. I'm not sure what the 50-50-50 rule is. I think it's when you have a hat and then you divide it in half and then divide the top half into two and then do the same for the bottom half. I suppose the top half is for the eyes. Let's draw the eyes real quick. The middle one is for the nose and the bottom half is for the mouth. I think this is what they meant. Anyway, let's see the result. Don't use reference, it's cheating, not art. I was told that references are equivalent to art theft no matter what it was. Don't use references, don't use references, it's theft. Jesus, people still saying this stuff? Brother, this is 2024. I thought by now people would realize how stupid not using a reference is. The point of having references is so we don't stray too far from the real thing especially if we have realistic or semi-realistic art style. They also serve as inspirations if we ever get stuck on anatomy, outfit design, or basically anything really. Our brain is filled with various things. Homework, math, chores, taxes, husband, wife. How do you expect our brain to perfectly visualize things for us to draw? Unless you have a photographic memory, your brain normally only remembers the impression of how people, animals, or other things look like. Try drawing your parents or siblings or people you see every day without having to look at their pictures. It's difficult, right? Only draw what is easy to you. Never challenge yourself. I mean, do whatever you want. If you wanna do just that, who am I to tell you no? If you want to improve, obviously you need to challenge yourself. Change things, get out of your comfort zone. But after a while, you get used to it and you can do it multiple times with ease. And isn't that how drawing things become easy? Because you get used to drawing it? I used to draw directly with colors. But because I want to improve my rendering, I learned grayscale painting. It was hard at first, 
I had to learn values by painting statues, I didn't know how to color my painting, but after a while, it becomes easy for me, even easier than drawing directly with colors. So if you only want to draw what is easy to you, do whatever you want, but there is no harm in learning something new. Learn realism because the others and okay, okay, that's it. I am done. Whoever said this, you're stupid. Don't listen to them. Just look at my son. Look at Gaming. Yes, he is my son. He is biologically my son. He's so graceful. He's so kind. You'll get smarter looking at him.